Hello and welcome to Alula's Virtual Trade Show Day 2. Thank you so much for joining us. We know there's a lot going on out there. Um, we're all looking for things to distract us uh, or ways that we can use this time to grow. Um, so Alula is taking uh, some of the stuff we wanted to unveil at ISC West, and we're going to show it to you early today. Uh, we'll still be there when ISC West is able to reschedule that show, um, but at least in the meantime we wanted to um, – provide that communication uh, with our partners. My name is Kevin Hoffman. I am the Content Marketing Manager for Alula. We've got a wonderful presentation for you today. First, uh, for those of you um, who don't know about Alula, I don't know who you'd be because we've been everywhere lately, but uh, we are the intersection of video, home automation, and home security. We're 100% partner focused, which means we only sell through uh, dealers and partners, never to the end user. Uh, we are an efficient end-to-end -end platform. Some people call that vertically integrated. Some people call that all-in-one. But what it means is uh, we do the hub, we do the network, and we do the phone application uh, and the touchpad interface. Um, so we control that entire um, uh, system, which allows us to innovate faster and make it more integrated for your customer. Um, and most of all, we're all about supporting our partners and enabling their businesses, and we've got a lot of partners. Uh, you can see from this slide, um, uh, a lot of partners here, including the Monitor Center, Monitoring Center, uh, Alarm New England, uh, Microtech Security Systems, EMC Security, Smith-Thompson, Protect America, Prodigy, um, uh, Comcast, Turn Up Home, On Duty Systems. So we're very happy to have all of our partners. And in fact, we've, we've got one of our great partners uh, with us here today uh, in the form of Brevo. Uh, Brevo is an access control uh, solution that we're really excited to be integrating with. And first, let me just introduce you to our presenters. Um, coming to us uh, from Brevo um, remotely is Joe Cunetta, the product manager for Brevo. Joe, did I get that right? You did, Kevin. Thank you so much. Here, Joe. Uh, also from Alula, we have Corey Plender, the Director of Product Management. Uh, Corey, thanks for being with us. You're very welcome. Pleased to be here. Excellent. And then we've also got Shane Seaman, the Associate Product Manager at Alula, who is really um, the driver of this project. Shane, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Shane, I know you were really integral to this project, and you know it uh, backwards and forwards. So why don't you go ahead and take us through the agenda we're going to discuss today. Sure, absolutely. So a couple things we're going to go over today in, in this section is going to be why Alula and why Brevo. Um, then we're going to go over the, con the combined value of this partnership. Uh, then we're going to move into the feature roadmap and, and go over a couple of use cases. Excellent. You just said it. Uh, why Brevo? Um, you know, why we chose this excellent partner, and there's just, a, there's just a number of things that they offered us. Yeah, so why, why is Alula choosing Brevo as, as this partner? Um, the first thing is that Brevo, like Alula, is IP-centric, and they use APIs, which allows us to create a tightly integrated solution. They're also cloud-based, which makes the solution very scalable. It allows for an easy connection and management between our two systems. And they're also the leading cloud-based access control provider, allowing dealers to build their business around RMR and not just hardware sales. They also have a really dedicated dealer base, many of which install both security and access, and we here at Alula are very excited to bring a combined and integrated, integrated security plus access solution with Brevo to the market. And lastly, Brevo's close ties with Eagle Eye presents us with an opportunity to integrate with a commercial-grade video solution. Yeah, Shane, it makes a ton of sense um, you know, from each partner's perspective. Uh, so let's look at it from the perspective of Brevo and their access control uh, clients. Why, why is Alula something that might bring value to them? Sure. So like Brevo, Alula's platform is cloud-based, and our hardware solutions are IP-centric. Uh, one of the first things is monitoring. So access control systems are not generally connected to monitoring stations, and integrating with Alula allows Brevo to be connected with these monitoring centers as well. Secondly, the Bat Connect. The Bat Connect is a real workhorse in this industry. That single Bat Connect solution gives access to a broad range of intrusion panels, 
A single product and the Alula platform enables any standard panel to work with a Brevo access panel. This greatly reduces adoption hurdles for our dealer partners, and you can easily retrofit existing installations with access and can, con and can continue to integrate with the panels that you are familiar with. And the Connect Plus is awesome for new installs. But what about the million of intrusion panels that are already installed in businesses across the country? The Back Connect is the answer to that question. This allows Brevo a single integration point to gain access to this huge range of panels. And for those new installs, the Connect Plus is going to be a game changer. The fact that we're completely vert vertically integrated will allow Alula and Brevo to unlock the full potential of both solutions. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I think each partner brings um, so much to the table, um, and that together we're actually stronger and able to offer an even more complete solution. Um, so talk about that value of integration. So here we're going to talk about the market a little bit. Uh, the SDM performed a survey asking respondents to identify their top three business threats, and almost 40% of them indicated that they viewed bundled solutions, including intrusion and access, as one of their top three concerns or opportunities. Alula and Brevo together flips that threat into an opportunity. Alula's intrusion is UL certified for Berg, where other solutions are delivered solely from an access provider, and they may not be designed to meet those requirements. Additionally, Alula already supports a wide range of monitoring centers and connects to their automation software. As you'll see in here in the coming slides, as Alula and Brevo deepen the integration points, we'll see intrusion sensors participating in the access system, as well as access data acting to inform Alula's security panel. Yeah, big data is here, and having access to um, look at that data and uh, be able to understand the domicile even better is key. Um, and so that's, that's some of that new value that gets unlocked. Um, why don't you talk a little bit about that cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration? Yeah, so we've talked a little bit about the value that the two companies bring to each other. So let's talk about how that affects, affects you guys. So many dealers offer both security, or security and access to control uh, I'm sorry. Many dealers offer both security and access control to their customer base. And traditionally, this has come in the form of two independent systems. And with this new integration, that's no longer the case. The foundation of what makes this integration special are two key points, the fact that the platforms are cloud-based and the Connect family. So the fact that both companies are cloud-based allows for an extremely deep integration, and this allows us to continually roll out additional features and updates. It also allows the consolidation of one or many different sites into one management portal. The other aspect is the Connect family. The commercially listed Connect Plus is a great solution for installs, but for many sites, an intrusion panel already exists, and that's where the Bat Connect comes in. The Bat Connect allows these dealers to bring these legacy panels onto the Alula platform, and now Alula Brevo platform, connecting them with updated apps, integrated security access platform, and simplifying their daily use. Okay, now we've got Joe with this from Brevo. Joe, um, I understand that there's a, a video um, that we can share on this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop that up. Awesome. And right. you ready to go with this? Ready to go. Thank you, Kevin, and thanks everybody for joining. I'm excited to be here and, and talk about this combined offering. Uh, you know, between Alula and, and Brevo. So, you know, we, we, we all understand, you know, access control, video, intrusion, uh, they're all uh, critical aspects to se securing your facility. So that's why between the use of, uh, you know, the Alula wireless sensors to managing widely known intrusion panels within the industry, with Brevo and Alula, you can manage them all at your fingertips through on air, okay? So our integration utilizes, uh, as you've heard, uh, the Alula Back Connect and Connect Plus panels. They can be managed through either our on-air platform or through our on-air mobile application. Uh, the Alula panels will communicate directly to on-air, similar to Brevo's own access control panels. And once the Alula equipment uh, has been installed and accounts have been linked to on-air, you have the ability to associate the Alula panels directly with each of your desired sites. 
That's what you see here. So I'm basically naming it. I put it together a few quick, uh, three quick steps. And uh, so after the setup is complete, you can now arm your system or systems. You can have multiple, either through the home page here or through the specific site page. And that's what you're seeing now. And the same goes for the on-air mobile application. So once you've logged in, you navigate to the side pane, tap on the intrusion tab, find all the panels that you can change the arming level of, and do so accordingly. So it's pretty straightforward, very easy to use, um, and, and that's very powerful here, and, and that's why I'm so excited for this integration and bringing it out to our customers. Excellent, Joe. Thanks for taking us through that. Thank you so much. Corey, let me bring you in here real quick. Um, you know, talk a little bit about uh, all the ways in which we're able to support multiple panels through this project. Sure. Thank you, Kevin and, and Joe, and thanks, Shane, as well. Uh, like Shane was uh, describing, as well as, as Joe just briefly a moment ago, uh, to add our um, Alula security to, uh, to the integration, basically dealers have two excellent choices. We can use our, uh, our standalone panel, the Connect Plus, or, and or the Bat Connect. Um, with Bat Connect, uh, integrators can connect nearly any industry panel that's out there, so it's a real game changer, really powerful solution. Uh, with the Connect Plus, on the other hand, is a commercially rated. It's got the UL listing for Berg, and it's been designed by a set of industry experts that really have uh, experienced bar none out there in, in the space. And as mentioned, the Bat Connect can connect directly on the bus for Honeywell uh, products, Interlogix products, the DSC Power Series, uh, and we're actively working on both NAPCO and Concord support uh, in, the, in the coming quarter. And beyond that, uh, any panel that supports tip ring uh, communication and can report contact IDs can also be connected to the Bat Connect in a, in a dialer mode. So it's a, it's a real workhorse, one, one SKU to have on your truck and supports really any install you might encounter out there in the, in the space. <clears throat> and the nifty thing about both of these systems is that they're using the same app, the same back-end software for programming, the same management tools on the Alula back-end, and that really allows um, your techs to learn one system no matter what type of panel it's being connected to, and it allows, it allows Brevo to interface and interact with that panel product regardless of which one of those options they choose in the same way. So it's a real powerful feature for you when you think about access control linked with security. <clears throat> now let's kind of look at the future of, of how this integration um, is ultimately going to uh, benefit the customer. Uh, so right now we've already got ARM and DISARM uh, for Connect Plus and Back, Back Connect, as you mentioned, uh, via the, that Brevo dashboard. But uh, what are we looking to do as we um, use APIs and, and do what we can to bring these companies um, together. Yeah, I really get the exciting part of the presentation. I get to talk about uh, kind of the forward-looking elements and, and the exciting conversations that we're having with our dealers and their end customers around this integration. So as, as Joe has already shared, the initial phase of our Alula Brevo integration was the ability to arm and disarm uh, the Bat Connect or the Connect Plus panel products through the Brevo on-air on dashboard or the, the Brevo on-air mobile app. And that's, that's just the first step. I mean, the, the next phase of our integration will allow our end users to get into the building, to access the building with one action. They'll be able to badge in to un both access the door as well as disarm the security panel if there's not someone already in the premise. And the second piece there will be when they badge out, that will you know, let them leave the building and it will rearm the panel. So that really opens up some really cool use cases that we'll discuss in, in just a little bit here. And a clear benefit of, of this, this feature of, of tying the security to the access control credential is that a large number of those users will never have to know or access the security panel through a pin of the security panel. So that really keeps the security function much more secure, lets you sit in front of one pane of, of glass to manage your employee turnover, and you won't have to uh, mess with the security panel at all. So that's a pretty slick uh, option there. As we, as we move forward in the development, another initiative on our roadmap is to get to that one pane of glass. So what will happen at that point is when uh, you enter your credentials into the uh, Brevo On Air solution, the uh, pins and, and uh, users will be created in a like fashion on the Alula side. So it will bring all relevant system information over to the Alula side so that uh, those users exist on both, both sides. And we'll speak a little bit uh, more about that in, in a moment. 
what's, what's nifty there is that some users on your system will have a specific PIN. They'll know how to use the security system directly, but other users, maybe it's uh, hourly employees or people that you, know, you don't uh, have quite as much of a trust relationship with, they would only use that access credential, and when that's revoked, the security function would be preserved and protected. So those, those folks will be in a, a group of individuals and will use a group PIN that's not known to any of those individuals. A little further out on our roadmap is the idea of virtual sensors or access control, um, access control events as a security sen sensor in our system. And the idea there is that the access control system will provide conditions or state information back into the security platform. And some of those events might actually be interesting uh, for signaling to the monitoring station. Um, some of those examples of that might be a forced door condition, which you know, if the system were armed, probably should alarm the, alarm the panel. It's much like a, a door sensor in that case. Other things that we might choose to do would be to uh, notify on prop door or attempted access of an unknown or revoked credential. So those are, those are the types of things that we may, may choose to tie into the security function directly as virtual sensors. And then, then also throughout the integration, we'll be enriching uh, really the information that each side, security and access, has available to it. So for example, it, uh, the, the access control could benefit perhaps of knowing that the system is ready to arm or whether there's doors, uh, windows that are opened, uh, that there are bypasses, that sort of thing. And if, in fact, a, a, a badging function would arm the system in those states, we do want to notify the, the owner operator of those facilities to make sure that, that the premise is kept optimally secured. Yeah, it's really amazing to watch as you get access to more data, how the system becomes smarter and it just opens up uh, new use cases and new, new things that you're able to do with it. So um, here's some ideas, uh, Corey. Why don't you talk about some of the things we may be able to do in the future here? I appreciate it, Kevin. Could I have you flip to the next slide? I think we got a little bit out of order here. I want to do that one first. Thank you, Kevin. Sure. Uh, so, so basically the integration use cases that we've implemented, and this is similar to the timeline uh, slide that we just saw. So today we have the automated operation of our security function through the access control. So access control will be able to manage, um, as, as it gets a little, little deeper, the, the credential itself, the badge in and out will actually allow for uh, access as well as uh, arm disarm of the panel. That helps us manage the employee turnover. It helps us to operate security without sharing any of those security pins. Um, as we step further into the future, obviously that single pane of glass that I've, I've talked about to manage your users, to manage your employees, directly through that access control and have those functions, those users and groups that you've created get moved over into, into, the, uh, uh, into the security system in an effective fashion. And lastly, a bi-directional enhancement of the access and security event logs is very important. What's slick about all these together, if we can go back to the previous, uh, we've had some yep. great discussions with um, our, uh, our quick serve uh, restaurant uh, environment. The customer is a quick serve hmm. uh, facility. And what they're very interested in is uh, allowing delivery drivers, janitorial, uh, the bread and, and, and sandwiches, they, wa they want to have that be delivered after hours. And so that creates some very unique challenges with the facility. Um, this isn't somebody that actually works directly for the quick serve, but they want to allow them to go into the facility. They want to get into the receiving area of the facility, and they want to um, you know, load the load the coolers and the, and the chillers with, with new product for the next day. So I've described that badging function that works very slick. They can open that door, gain access. Uh, if we can disarm an, an arm with that badging function, you, you immediately see where that could, could have benefit. And one other thing that we're extending is kind of the idea of, of, of a partition system. If, if, for example, the receiving area was partitioned, you could disarm just that receiving area and ensure that those after hours visitors that are, that are granted access, but they aren't roaming about inside the entire quick serve facility. So these are some really cool and exciting use cases that we're, that we're exploring actively with Brevo. Yeah, I can really see why um, you may be in a situation where you want to automate the receiving of, of goods. You, don't, you want to minimize human interaction sometimes. Um, so I can see how this access control sud suddenly opens up those abilities. Um, it's one of the great benefits uh, that our dealers are going to have out of this. Exactly, exactly. And, and with, this, with this Alula Brevo partnership, you know, how, how does – Shane talked a little bit about the benefits, how come it made sense for, for the two of us as, as companies to approach each other, but it also helps you as, as D2 
dealer installers out there in the in in the in the world, right? Because it really helps expand the breadth of your offering. You know, giving giving you additional products and services that a dealer can deliver to a single uh, small medium business type account instead of just delivering security or access. Go ahead and install both, and and it's a and it's a tested solution with two companies that are well known in the spaces. And not just that, uh, you know, both. Alula and Brevo are, you know, RMR generating, uh, RMR generating solutions for our dealer partners, and that's critical to your to your earliest points in this talk, Kevin. You know, we're 100% dealer focused in helping in planning on helping them to expand their business in these in these interesting times that we're living through. Absolutely, yeah. You you want to keep a, a breadth of business. Um, you know, don't put all of your chips on one thing because we can see how quickly that uh, things can change. Um, but one thing doesn't change, which is where you can buy our product. Um, Corey, uh, after seeing this presentation, I'm sure a lot of people want to go out there and act on it. How would you do that? Well, the Lula products are always available through distri distribution, and uh, Brevo certainly can go direct to Brevo.com and purchase those solutions. And uh, we've got a few of our distribution partners up there on the screen, and we'd be happy to answer any questions at the end of the presentation here today on, on the virtual trade show. Thank you. Thanks, Corey, and thank you to Annixter, ADI, SES, Alarmax, Silmar, and Arlenko for uh, supporting Alula products and carrying those products. Um, if you're listening to this call, you're looking where to buy uh, some Alula products, um, look up those local distributors uh, and get out there and support those distributors. Uh, during this time, um, we know how crucial they are to our business. Um, moving forward, uh, let's talk about Alula's new partner program. And to do that, we'll bring in our newest um, Alula uh, employee, and that is Warren Hill. Warren, how are you? I'm good, Kevin. Thanks for having me today. I appreciate it. It's uh, it's you All know right, it's, it's great. I was just going to say it's it's great to be with you all today. You know, I'm I'm only sorry that we can't be meeting in person in the crazy but fun environment uh, down in Las Vegas in the Sands Expo Center. Look forward to to hopefully connecting with a lot of our our partners uh, in July when that gets rescheduled. Yeah, Warren, I know that you're uh, a guy who is out there and about there meeting with our partners. Uh, you're recently just down there in Florida. Uh, meeting with our partners at SCS down there. So uh, Warren uh, came to us from Interlogix. He's got 11 years of experience in security in the smart home industry. Um, he's done product management, marketing, small business sales, program development, and execution. Uh, as I mentioned, he worked at Interlogix, also has worked at American Express, but don't look for him to get you any discounts on your credit card bill. He also worked at General Electric. He champions the gathering of partner feedback and industry trends to influence development of products and services. And he just joined Alula in January of 2020. Warren, thank you for joining us on uh, this special virtual summit. <laughs> you, you bet. It's, it's great to be here, like I said. And you know, it's, a, it's an exciting time to be in our industry, exciting position here at Alula. Like you said, championing what our customers are all about, what our partners are doing. And uh, being out there in front of them, gathering voice of customer, and then taking that back to the business and, and, and using that to influence product development, uh, service development here at Alula. So it's good. Hey, Kevin, what I want to take the group through today is uh, our uh, Alula Pro program. You know, this is a loyalty program that we've built for our partners. Uh, I'll briefly touch on the current features of the program, and then we'll spend the majority of my time talking about the next phase. Uh, I'll cover the perks of being part of the program, the features that will be available to members, and what it will take in order to qualify for the different levels in the program. You know, putting, putting together a partner program, it's, it's a lot like designing a new product. Yeah, in order to put something together that customers and, and partners will value, you've got to talk to them. You've got to find out what they want in that program. So that's what we've done here. We've talked to a lot of, of Alula partners, and, and frankly, we've talked to some alarm dealers that aren't yet doing business with Alula to find out what do they want in a partner program. And what we've been building is a program that has so many pieces that there's something of value in it for, for pretty much every dealer out there. Yeah, Warren, you know that we are always listening to our partners both in the uh, 
chat here on uh, webinars and during our forums, but also uh, on Facebook, on social media. If you go to Facebook, uh, you'll find the Alula Pro Installer Group. Um, we're always happy to answer questions there. Um, but as Warren mentioned, we've, we've already got the beginnings of our partner program. These are benefits that are currently available uh, to you already. So Warren, why don't you walk through that for some of our uh, older dealers who may not be aware um, of these kinds of benefits? I'll do it. You know, last December is when we first rolled out the, the Alula Pro program. And it was a foundational step in the creation of an evolving program that will be available to all Alula dealers. Uh, some of the bigger elements that we rolled out in that initial phase in December were the Welcome Kit, uh, a Partner Resource Center, and the Alula Pro Forum, uh, the Facebook group that you just mentioned. We put together a Welcome Kit to help dealers understand Alula's position in the industry, you know, the breadth and strength of our folio, and our commitment to our partners. Uh, we created the Partner Resource Center where Alula Pros can find a number of resources to help strengthen and grow their business. And one of my colleagues, Thomas, he's going to be speaking next. He's going to go through and share more of the information about the tools and resources that are available on that resource center. And then, like you mentioned, the Alula Pro Forum or the, the Facebook user group, this is where Alula Pros can go to ask questions, share best practices, uh, receive timely updates from Alula team members, and more. It's, it's an extremely valuable tool in helping our partners and other dealers stay in touch and up to date on the latest products and trends that we're seeing here at Alula. Yeah, and of course I, we've got the referral program. So if you uh, are listening to this and you've got a friend in the business who is looking for a great partner, um, we would love for you to give us a recommendation and we'll make sure that we are paying you back in kind. Um, Warren, why don't you talk through uh, some of the ways uh, that this program is promoting um, community. Oh, absolutely. You know, one of the most valuable benefits of, of being an Alula Pro is the networking opportunities um, or being part of a community. You know, opportunities to network with Alula team members, Alula leadership, and professional alarm dealers from around the country. Alula Pros We'll hear firsthand from our product and technology experts in our engineering group, our product management group, when new products and services are launched. They'll also have the opportunity to share and learn best practices with other alarm dealers, like I said, from around the country. And this will allow them to, to stay ahead of the curve and ahead of the competition. So definitely community and, and being connected that way with both your supplier and other like-minded dealers around the country is, is helpful. Yeah, and I've never seen an executive team like we have here at Alula that will directly uh, answer customer questions, reach out. Um, they'll be on the Facebook group, and, and we'll help people out there. Um, our CEO, you'll be hearing from him later. Uh, he's on the, on the uh, 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 summit here today. So um, very approachable um, team members here at Alula. Uh, so I, I know we can't offer the same benefits to, to every level, um, there are some economies of scale. Um, so talk to, talk to me a little bit about how this program is structured. Yeah, well, you know, as was the case when we rolled out the program last December, it's open to professional alarm dealers that want to do business with Alula, regardless of the size. So large, medium, small dealers, regardless of the type of dealer that they are. Maybe they're focused more on residential or small, medium business and commercial. Maybe their focus is intrusion or video, or life safety, or, or all three. You know, regardless of whether you're in Florida, or Hawaii, or Alaska, or New York, anywhere in America, uh, in, in Canada, this is a program that's open to all professional alarm dealers. And a couple of things we're doing, we're, we're trying to keep this program easy to understand, easy to sign up for, easy to participate in. And like other leading loyalty programs that many of you probably are, are part of, the more business that you do with Alula, the more benefits you're going to get back in return. That's kind of the, the way we're building this program. Yeah, Warren, we're going to go into those tiers just a little bit later, but first we've got to get to something that is dear to my own heart, and that is marketing support materials. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we understand that, that our partners, some of them, you know, they're small, medium-sized businesses, and they could use some help when it comes to marketing tools and assets. And we've got those. 
and we're working to provide those so, so that we can help our partners out. You know, we've made our product images and several of our product brochures and other assets available to our program members. Uh, Alula Pros can use the images to create their, their own marketing materials, or they can take completed assets, things that we have already done, and they can uh, put their own company brand and information on them so that those items, those marketing pieces, look like they belong to them, our partners. They don't look like Alula materials anymore. Now they look like, you know, you name it, securities materials. So, so that's a, a good way that we're supporting our partners. I can say, Warren, being involved in some of those projects, that uh, you're looking at $10,000 in graphic design um, and other copywriting work that goes into creating these kinds of professional marketing materials. So the ability to go online um, and in just five seconds uh, make it your own with your own logo um, and be able to then just print it out and use it with your own customers, um, that is a real value, um, and you should definitely take advantage of it. Uh, Thomas is going to show us a little later here uh, uh, during the summit. He's going to show us how to do that, and I think you'll agree it's really, really uh, slick and very easy. So, uh, Warren, talk about some of the – you know, we've, we've seen already uh, some um, – damage to the economy. We know it's not easy out there right now. So talk to us about how we can make it easier on our partners right now. Well, you know, I've talked about some of the marketing resources, and those are really helpful because now, you know, if you're an Alula partner, you don't have to spend your marketing dollars on creating those materials. They're, they're already created there for you. And there's another number of other things that we're doing, you know, the networking opportunities, talking with Alula employees and Alula leadership and, and sharing best practices, getting best practices from some of the Alula partners around the country. Those are all things that are going to help, you know, in, in, in the, the market that we're in right now. But there's more, you know, we're adding a number of other value-rich benefits in this program that I think a lot of uh, Alula partners will, will find helpful. You know, similar... I look at other loyalty programs, and I would say, you know, similar to, to earning Sky Miles for flying with your preferred airline vendor or reward points for staying the night with one of several hotel chains, Alula Pro members can earn what we're calling Pro Points. And these points can be used to help offset various marketing and sales expenses. You know, some of those expenses, uh, examples of those expenses would be, you know, print and electronic advertising, Shirts and hats for technicians and other employees. You know, most security dealers out there have their technicians wearing a shirt of some type or a hat of some type that, that uh, talks about their company or is branded for their company. Um, vehicle and window decals. Demo product for your showroom and demo product that your salespeople can take out door to door as they're selling. Alula Pro members can use those points to pay up to half of the cost of those marketing and sales expenses. So, so we're, we're right there as a partner trying to help share in that, that burden. And there's other benefits that will include product promotions, samples of new products. Those are some of the other things that we're including in this program. Earlier, Warren, you mentioned uh, kind of different levels, um, and you also mentioned that uh, new logo for Alula Pros, uh, which we're seeing right here. Yeah, we've got that, the new logo for Alula Pros, and, and our partners, members of the program, are able to use that logo if they want to, to go out and be co-branded with a, a national program, national name like Alula, or if they want to just brand it themselves, um, that's fine as well. But yeah, mention the levels. So, so when the program was rolled out last December, it consisted of a single sort of a one-size-fits-all level, and that was the basic level, and it covered everybody and everything. Now that we're adding to the benefits that members can access, we're also adding levels. So we've got silver, gold, platinum, and diamond, and those levels will be achieved primarily as program members increase the number of Alula communicators and panels that they activate. A member that does less than 120 activations per year would be at the basic level, all the way up to a, 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 a partner that's doing over 4,800 activations per year would be at the diamond level. And the, the benefits at each of those levels differs depending on, you know, like I said, how much, how much business you're doing with Alula. 
So it certainly provides an incentive toward growth, and we're there to help spur that along. Um, uh, you mentioned, too, that Alula Pro branding. One of, the, one of the other ways that that can be helpful to our partners is uh, by showing that they've been um, certified as an Alula Pro partner, um, it helps demonstrate your expertise and your professionalism. It does, you know, and that's, that, that brings me to my other element, the other element that uh, helps determine a member's level in the program, and that is training. You know, it's our expectation that members who qualify at these higher levels in the program will have technicians both in the field and in the office who are well trained on Alula products and services. You know, more training should lead to quicker and more effective installations and ultimately a better end user experience. And Alula, as a partner, we're going to be there uh, right with, with all of our security partners to, to make sure that the resources are available to provide that ongoing training. Uh, you mentioned some of the kind of uh, education and training resources that we're going to put in place to make it easy for them. We've already got some of these already in place, but we're, we're moving forward with stuff to make a, a more of a core structure and make it even uh, easier to educate yourself. So uh, Warren, talk about some of these benefits that come with um, being a, a pro partner. Yeah, so these, what I'm going to do is these next few slides are going to take you through the different benefits that are available at the various levels. And because there are so many benefits, I've separated these into various categories. This first category we'll take a look at is the education and networking benefits. Uh, you'll notice that many of the benefits are available to all Alula pros, regardless of the level, um, while select benefits are reserved for members at the higher levels. Uh, in this instance, on, on this slide, you can see that pro education or technical training is available to all members with platinum and diamond level members having access to in-person training. So everybody gets the training, but um, for, for platinums and diamonds, uh, we're going to send one of our representatives there and do that training in person. Now another thing to point out here is that diamond level members will also be given the opportunity to have an Alula customer success team member on site one time each year for training and system installation assistance. And those are just a few of the great benefits that are available to Alula Pro members. If we go to the next slide, you know, this one's going to focus on the marketing related benefits that are available to our, our Pro members. We have a rich collection of marketing tools. We've talked about some of those already. Uh, included in this collection are product images, product brochures, lifestyle videos. Additionally, for, for gold, platinum, and diamond level members, we're making select marketing services available. And these services may be purchased using Alula points that I talked about and include things like custom branding of exi uh, existing Alula marketing assets, web and print design services, and uh, digital marketing services. So more to come on that as, as we further develop this program. And then the last group of benefits, other key benefits, um, if we look at this category here, here we have Connect Up Rebate that was mentioned previously, uh, as well as a Lula referral program. Pro points, which are awarded for the money that program members spend on Alula services. Again, those points can be redeemed to help pay for select marketing and sales expenses. The ability to brand the Alula mobile app so it looks like it's your app and, and the consumer, the end user, doesn't know any differently. They think it's your app. That's important. And free samples of new products for our Diamond level members. Those are all of the, the benefits that we are putting into this, um, this program right now. As, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be an ever-evolving program uh, we're going to keep hard to make sure that we expand the benefits, keep the program fresh so that it's valuable for all of our partners. Uh, and, and like I said, you know, while the program is available to everyone, we will have partners register in order to ensure that we have all the information that's needed to administer the benefits. And we're planning to open that registration at the end of, uh, end of Q2. So new benefits I've outlined here today will go live in, at the beginning of June, beginning of Q3. Registration will open up at the end of Q2.
And so if someone's listening to this and they want to make sure they're eligible for this, um, what do they have to do um, to register? Yeah, so we're going to, out there on the Alula Pro website, we are going to have a link. You'll be able to click there, learn more about the program, click to register. It'll take you through the terms and conditions of the program and all the information that we need from you, uh, your name, location, phone numbers, contact information, program administrator, preferred distributor, all of those types of information so that going forward, you know, we, we know how to communicate with you. We know how to give you credit for pro points and those types of things. So more to come on that. It will be all be available through the Alula Pro uh, website. Very good, Warren. Uh, it is an exciting time to be an Alula partner. Uh, and I look forward to seeing everything that you roll out in the next month or two. Um, be sure to stop back over and let our partners know as you uh, develop this program even further. Will do. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Warren. All right, next up is Thomas Pedro. Uh, he's going to talk to us about the Partner Resource Center. Uh, it's an exciting feature that's currently available. I alluded to it earlier in the presentation. Um, you can go on there right now. You can do it while you're listening to this presentation in the background. And go ahead and go in there and customize your own marketing materials. Take advantage of those great services. Uh, Thomas, are you with me? Absolutely, Kevin. Excited for this opportunity to share with the group. Great, Thomas. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, Thomas, of course, has 10-plus years in digital marketing and e-commerce experience. He's uh, done much with partner support and channel enablement in his career. Uh, he oversees marketing programs and content for Alula Partners. Uh, and he joined Alula in May 2019. Thomas, what are you going to be sharing with us here today? Yeah, absolutely. So what I want to do is I want to just quickly kind of take the group through what our Partner Resource Center is. We've heard uh, a number of different people mention it, so, so we'll talk about that. We'll even spend some time going through a quick tour. Uh, part of that will actually be building a marketing piece live and show, show the group the, the experience that happens there. Uh, and then we'll, we'll dive a little bit deeper into available marketing content and then close with uh, what it takes to get access. Excellent. I'm really excited for that uh, two-minute demo. So we're going to come up to that real quick here in a moment. But first, just give us this high-level introduction to the Partner Resource Center. Yep. So the, uh, what is the Alula Partner Resource Center? So really it's the central location for all of the content that you as an Alula Pro should need. So it, it's going to house uh, sales, marketing, and technical content. Um, it was designed very thoughtfully to try to make it intuitive and easy to use and easy to find. We'll talk through uh, some of the ways that, that hopefully it is that uh, as we go through this presentation. Um, and so it will have, uh, uh, as we've already talked about, marketing materials, but also uh, in the technical zone training materials and uh, sales and um, end user focused materials as well. So Kevin, and you wanna, are you ready to um, pop out and do that demo? Yep, absolutely, if you don't mind queuing that up for us. Yeah. So while, while Kevin's getting that going, um, what, what we'll see here when he has it up is really the – so this is, this is the home page. So uh, upon logging in, this is the, the page you are greeted with. Um, really, the, the home page is, is very similar to uh, a home page on a, uh, any other website where you've got highlights from across the site, uh, across the different sections of the site. So you've got both marketing, technical, and sales highlights visible there. Um, and then if we uh, pop into the specific sections, um, we'll see the marketing zone has the image library and, and webinars, um, as well as uh, obviously the marketing content. Uh, in the technical space, we're going to see our training videos, uh, knowledge base, uh, assets to help with that, that Connect installation. Um, and then when we go into the sales section of the site, um, you're going to see things like um, install guides and uh, data sheets. Um, so, so really kind of no matter where you are, uh, you're going to be able to hopefully find something that's uh, uh, valuable. So now let's, let's go back to the home page here and take a look at um, uh, an action that is commonly needed. So, so let's say I, I want to I want to come in here and I want to try to find something. In, in this case, maybe it's something doorbell related. So I type doorbell into the search. Um, I know I'm looking for an, an image, 
and here I am. I've got I've now sorted down to my doorbell images, and, and I'm off and ready to go. And it took me, you know, 20 seconds to get there. So so pretty easy to to drill down into um, what I'm looking to find. Uh, there we go. Even dr drilling down further to find my silver doorbell, doorbell faceplate. Um, nice and quick, and hopefully uh, intuitive uh, search functionality. So, so now if I, if I want to come back to, maybe there's content that I want to make sure that I'm um, aware of updates um, on. Um, so uh, in that case, we'd be uh, looking at subscriptions, and then collections would be uh, taking a number of different assets uh, as a user and collating them together so that they have a, a, a spot for you to come back to. So uh, looking at how we would subscribe to content, um, literally here we've got, gone into training videos, and you can see there's a, a nice big subscribe button there. When I click that, um, I now can go back over on the left nav there and see that my training video subscription uh, has, has exists, and I can always navigate to that uh, any time that I'm logged in. Uh, and then if there are items that I want to, to pull together to come back to, easily come back to on a regular basis, um, we have a concept of collections, so I can create collections or add to existing collections. So in this case, um, this is information on the partner program. So let's create a collection for the partner program. And then when I go back over to my left nav there um, and click on my collections, uh, we'll be able to see that I now have my partner program collection created. So pretty nice, easy way to, to make sure I'm informed of things and, and come back to things that I'm using on a regular basis. So now what I want to do is I want to just quickly, as I mentioned, go through what the process looks like for building uh, a marketing piece uh, within the Partner Resource Center. Um, so I'm, I navigate to the marketing content. I select the piece that uh, I'm looking for. Um, I would add my logo, uh, my company name, um, all, all my contact details, so company name, phone, website, um, whatever level of information you'd want to pull forward would get added here. And we'll let the video catch up here, and then we'll update the preview. And it'll take a couple seconds here for uh, it to update, but you'll see uh, as, it, as it comes available that in the upper right the, the logo comes uh, is displayed, and then down at the bottom of the piece, there we go, you'll see the, the contact information. Uh, and then if I click the download proof button, um, I will be able to actually pull this into a, a print-ready PDF format um, that I can then go use. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. It'll, it'll take a couple seconds here for that to happen as this is, as I mentioned, our, our assets are all designed to be print-ready. So they're going to, uh, in some cases, be large files, but we want to make sure that uh, what you as our partner is pulling forward is the highest quality and best representation of ultimately your brand. Um, so, so a number of the assets are, are large print ready files. Um, but as that, as that uh, spins, we'll, um, once it opens, we'll be able to uh, see it in uh, Adobe. Uh, there it is. And if I uh, go ahead and resize it, little bit there so we can make it easier to view. You can see that uh, same, same thing I was seeing um, within the tool I now have in PDF version. Um, and all I got to do now is print and I am ready to go. So literally, uh, you know, that, that process uh, is, is pretty, pretty quick and easy and, and hopefully um, uh, something that uh, certainly since we've rolled it out has been uh, uh, very useful for our partners. Um, so, and, and then just kind of going back to some of the other things that, that we have in the marketing content zone, so you saw some <clears throat> email content, and we'll touch on that a little bit, uh, a little bit further down the road here. But um, Kevin, I think that's really all I wanted to cover there. So if you don't mind going back into the presentation. Yeah, so just to, to reiterate, guys, uh, we just walked through it, but it's, it's literally four steps or less. Uh, to build a marketing piece, you're going to add your logo, input your company contact information, and click download proof, and, and you're off and running. So again, you know, we we really pride ourselves at Alula and being partner focused, and we know that your focus is on security 
um, on providing that, uh, that service for, for your customers. And so we want to give you the tools you need to be successful in the marketing zone. And, and, and this is certainly something that we're proud of as we think it gives you uh, a leg up on your, your competition and gives you the ability to pull forward your brand in a, in a professional way. So Kevin, if you want to move to the next one there. So, so what, what I want to do now is just kind of go through uh, at a more granular level some of the different content uh, that we have available. Um, so here, um, the, the types of available content that we have in the marketing zone really uh, fall into two different buckets. Uh, they're designed around two different um, use cases. Really, uh, we find most, most of our partners are either you know, doing uh, or doing both, new installs and then uh, upgrades and takeovers. Um, and so we've, we've tried to align our content accordingly. So you'll see um, versions, uh, multiple versions of content. Uh, on the new install side of the world, it will uh, feature uh, a piece of mind message, which is really focused on messaging to people that don't have an, a security system already, so, so trying to sell them on this concept of security. Um, and then when we talk about the upgrade takeover track, which um, in, uh, at this time with, with the upcoming cellular sunsets, uh, the upgrade takeover track does work very nicely as well for uh, upgrading um, devices at risk for, for sunset, but that's going to feature this uh, upgrade and modernize message um, and, and pull forward uh, secu uh, video and automation uh, as, as a primary driver there. So in addition to, the, to those two use cases, we also have uh, three different versions available. So um, the, the image on the, in the middle of the screen there on the left, that's the white label version. You can see it's partner branding. Uh, pulling forward the partner brand, so Alula really isn't coming forward there. Um, the, the image on the right, the co-brand version, um, features both Alula and partners. And then there's a, a third category that would just be part, uh, Alula branding only. So th th that would be the, the case, use case of I need something really quick and I'm just going to go download something. So multiple different uh, use cases and versions are available. Yeah, absolutely. Alula is happy to stand in the background and let you get all of the glory for your brand. Um, we're here to support you. Uh, but if you think that uh, having our name on it may help sh uh, stand up your brand uh, and give you that strength of that national partner, uh, we are also happy to walk arm in arm with you. So um, we've got a lot of different options there, uh, and it's ultimately your decision on, on how you want to uh, advertise your partnership with us, but most importantly, um, advertise your services to your customers. Uh, Thomas, I know that we've got some product overview guides that are also available uh, in the Partner Center. Yep. So what I want to just kind of highlight here is, is a handful of the different, uh, maybe more popular assets uh, that are available and, and where we're seeing people use them. Um, so these overview guides are, are nice pieces that are designed to be used you know, face to face with a homeowner um, and really demonstrate the, the full Alula experience and products. Um, so again, you're gonna you're gonna find uh, a version that's geared around more the Connect Plus uh, products, and then you're gonna have a, a upgrade track uh, around Bad Connect. Um, and then you know, as far as how they're used, uh, certainly people are printing them out, but I would say most commonly, uh, I'm seeing these loaded onto uh, a tablet um, and kind of walked through uh, that way with the homeowner. And certainly, um, we know what's going on out there, and it's changing a lot of social interactions and patterns. Um, so you're going to need some options to make sure you're staying in touch with your customer base uh, through whatever means uh, are necessary in the coming days and weeks. Um, so we do have those kinds of options, and a great one is direct mail, right, Thomas? Yeah, Kevin, uh, exactly. So we have a number of different options uh, that would fall into this uh, direct mail category. Um, uh, one, one thing I have seen is, you know, a number of partners will just actually use these as handouts. So uh, certainly you have the flexibility as a, as a Alula Pro to use these uh, whatever way it works best, but they, they will kind of get multi-purpose use if they can be used either uh, mailed or uh, as handouts. Um, and then uh, what you'll see there, if you look at the uh, image on the left, um, you'll see a, a nice example of the co, uh, ex another example of the co-brand 
version that I was talking about earlier where you've got uh, the Alula brand in conjunction with the partner brand and then obviously the two uh, resident examples on the right um, uh, sort of feature, pull forward the, the, the partner. And then we've also got some options uh, for email, and, and we're not just talking about copying and pasting text here. These are fully designed uh, HTML files, right? Yes, they are. And you know, uh, to, to Kevin's point about the, the the times we're in, you know, a great way to stay in front of customers is is digitally, obviously. And uh, when we start talking about sunset, uh, we've heard a number throughout this uh, summit that we've put on over over the last couple of days here. We've we've talked specifically about sunset and, and how we can help uh, our pros through the sunset. And, and to me, this is a really nice way to do this, um, to, to go to both existing customers and new prospects with a, a message around upgrading um, in a medium that most people are, are very familiar with and, and interact with. So it's a good way to get, get head start on email marketing. As Kevin mentioned, these are uh, HTML files that are ready to go into um, an email tool like uh, MailChimp or, or others um, and can either be edited further or, or sent out as is. Um, so uh, nice options there to get a, kind of a head start on uh, email marketing. And certainly if you want to reach a broader uh, group and make sure you're getting your name out in your local community, um, there's still some great ways to do that, including print advertising. Yeah, and what, what I'm seeing here is you know, some people are using these uh, actually in trade publications, in magazines, and, and things of that nature. But, but a lot of times what I, what I see partners doing is just using these, uh, printing them out. I've uh, seen them used at trade shows, and they, they work really nicely in, in a uh, number of different zones. Um, but we've got a couple of different um, message options available, as we've sort of discussed already, but and also sizes available. So kind of no matter what you're, you're looking to do, hopefully um, you'll find something that works. And this here, the uh, digital advertisements is, is relatively new. I was really happy to see this because um, you know, we all have heard about uh, the importance of, of advertising on Google and digital advertisements and SEO and campaigns and all those things, but uh, a lot of people don't want to go back to school and get a marketing degree. So how are you going to help us out with that? Absolutely, and that's exactly what we're here for is to help with that. And specifically in this zone, you know, uh, this, these are – kind of can get as, as a number of our assets can uh, use across a, a number of different uh, platforms per se. So uh, these are used on websites, uh, in paid search, uh, and on social media. So if you want to either are or want to do advertising on Facebook or LinkedIn, um, typically you're going to need some sort of asset to pull forward that uh, message with, and that's what we've built these for. So. Um, Given that we've we've got a number of different sizes available, you can see some of them there, um, and so you'll find four different options uh, in each uh, zone uh, available within the resource center. Um, and you know, as I've mentioned already, but the, the upgrade versions work really nicely um, to try to to pull forward some um, messaging and marketing on upgrading your uh, accounts that are at risk to sunset. Thanks, Thomas. We hear about this from our partners all the time. They want video content. Um, they know it's powerful. Um, they want to distribute it via their social media channels, but they also know that it's expensive to produce. So, uh, Thomas, we are very happy to announce uh, a recent uh, trip that we took and a special project we put on. So I won't steal your thunder. Thomas, why don't you talk a little bit about that video content that we're going to make available? Yeah, ab absolutely. And, you know, this is – Kevin's the wizard when it comes to, to video, so certainly he's the, the man behind the scenes uh, making a lot of this happen. But this is uh, video content is one of our more popular zones and certainly something that we're continually um, pulling more uh, content forward on. As Kevin mentioned, uh, we recently completed a video shoot, um, and that content's going to be coming online here in the next, um, you know, uh, probably weeks to months. Uh, and we can, as you can see in the example there, we can uh, work with you to add your logo um, as needed. But there's uh, a number of different assets out there uh, already to help you um, promote uh, the Alula products uh, in the video medium. Um, and and uh, the, the other thing I would want to call out here is uh, this content and, and all the other stuff that you've 
seen, and I, I sort of touched on this when we went through the, the resource center, um, but I want to make sure that I, I pull this forward because I think it's important to call out is, you know, uh, our image library, we do have uh, a pretty robust image library with high res uh, image photography that can be used, you, you know, in everything from presentations to websites to, I mean, you name it, but um, that, that's also going to be out there. Um, so as you can see, we've got a nice amount of, of professional level content, um, which hopefully will give you as an Alula Pro partner um, a, a head start on your marketing. And, and then we've also got the, the partner resource team uh, behind that should you have questions or, or additional um, needs. And if someone did have those questions, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Yep, so the next steps, um, a good place to start for, for existing partners. So to get access to the Partner Resource Center, which is sort of the gateway to this stuff, um, you need to work with your regional sales manager to request access. Uh, and, and if you aren't yet in Alula Pro, um, what are you waiting for? Uh, get started at uh, the, uh, our, you can go to our website, alula.com, and the Pro sign up page will We'll get the ball rolling there, and, and we'll make sure that you have access to the Resource Center as part of the onboarding process. And then um, if you have specific questions, um, both before and during um, any of the, these things that you might be doing in the marketing zone, feel free to reach out to our partner team, partner resource team. They're, they're standing by to, to help, help you be successful here, and um, hopefully we can help enable that. Thank you, Thomas. That's a great overview, and I'm so excited to share uh, the results of that recent lifestyle photo and video shoot um, that we completed uh, just a couple weeks ago. Um, so that we'll be rolling that material out soon, but it, it, it's going to make it all the easier for you to um, uh, establish your value and communicate it with your, uh, your clients, whether that's on the website, on the email, whether it's uh, a brochure at a trade show, um, however you're doing it, we want to make it easy for you to communicate uh, with, your co with your customers um, and show them the value that you bring. So um, speaking of value, last but not least, I wanted to bring in our CEO, Brian McLaughlin. You were recently with us uh, for our Partner Summit webinar, uh, very popular, and so we figured we should bring you back for the larger group. Brian, thank you for being with us today. Kevin, it's great to be here. Thanks for uh Leading the cast of characters here, uh, it's uh, I think you know, really uh, pleased to see the story come together in terms of the, the new value we're, we're providing to our partners out there. Absolutely, yeah, we're we're bringing in expertise from all corners, um, and that includes yourself. Uh, Brian's got 25 years of leadership experience. He's the former president of Trimble Transportation Mobility, a global IoT technology company. He was COO, then president of PeopleNet, a global IoT telematics company. He was instrumental in shaping industry technology and safety initiatives, and he became CEO of Alula in February 2018. Brian, thank you for being with us yet again. Great to be here. And Kevin, so I don't want to get really started want to talk about. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Kevin. I was just going to say, if you could, if you could get us started by giving us a bit of an overview of all the ways uh, in which Alula can help our partners. Yeah, no problem. I was excited to get going there. Um, sorry about that. But, uh, you know, a lot of you right now in these times are probably not thinking as much about growth. You're probably thinking about employee safety, personal safety, and, uh, you know, just survival in terms of your businesses. And, and I get that. We're, we're uh, having a lot of the same discussions here around making sure we've got people in a safe environment that we can get products for our customers and, and everything else. And I, I'm, I'm pleased to say from an overall perspective, our supply chain is in good order. Um, we're able to get product and ship product, and we're here to help support the industry in any way that we possibly can going forward. Um, but I, you know, one of the things that we're doing, uh, Kevin, and, and is, is really taking this time of a lot of adversity out there uh, to say, okay, what are those areas when, when things normalize a bit? And hopefully it's in the near term. Hopefully it's the next uh, 30 to 60 days, maybe 90 days, not, uh, not six to nine months. Uh, nobody knows for sure. But as things start to normalize, what, you know, what, how do we grow? And how do we look at some new things that we haven't been doing maybe all properly in the past? How do we get those in position in the future to do them better? 
So our core platform, as you guys know, really consists of Connect Plus, Back Connect, video. Uh, at the core, those are the building blocks that allow for the ability for our partners to bloom. We have been working quite a bit with a number of our newer partners and others to say beyond not a traditional residential security model. Uh, what else are, are, are things that we can do with the platform to drive additional RMR, additional growth? And we've identified really five of those. Sunset, not just looking at the sunset as a cost, but an upgrade opportunity, uh, replacements for technologics, aging in place, small business, and then dealer DIY. And I'd like to share with you a little bit more about each of those over the next couple. All right, Brian, um, you're coming in and, in and out a little bit. I think uh, you're losing the cell signal. Why don't you try uh, hanging up and call us back. Let's see if we can get a stronger single, signal. Um, uh, make sure we can catch all your words on this. Um, so we'll just have you uh, call right back in. Um, and just let me know when you're back. Um, in the meantime, we're going to be looking at uh, the Bat Connect. Um, as a 3G sunset solution. Brian alluded to that briefly um, before he lost his cell signal. Um, so as we, as we wait for him to come back, uh, we're just going to hold, hold on this slide for a minute and talk a little bit about um, why uh, the Back Connect is really a game changer. And, and one of the things for me is it really comes down to uh, the fact that it's 5G compatible, uh, that CAT M1 IoT optimized uh, communications path means that you're not going to have to worry about the next cellular sunset um, as we move from 4G to 5G. Um, Brian, is that you? Do I have you on the phone there, Brian? Okay. Still working on that. Um, so as he looks for that cell signal, clearly he's not using CAD M1. If he was, uh, he would have uh, good access no matter where he was because it penetrates into hard to reach areas, including uh, basements, um, areas where you're not going to ordinarily get the best cell signal. Um, so CAD M1, we were the first to have that. Um, I believe we're still the only, though I know that there's uh, other companies out there that are uh, scrambling uh, to catch up to our innovation. So, um, I know that a lot of them are looking at CAT M1 uh, as a future uh, potential uh, solution. But um, as we look at the Back Connect, uh, is that you there, uh, Brian? Yeah, Kevin, that, that is me. I, I uh, apologize. I know the lines and all the uh, teleconferencing systems are getting stressed with all the work at home. So I hope, does this sound better now? You, you sound great. It's just good to know that uh, you're, you're doing well. <laughs> so I, would you, I don't know where I, where I left off there, where you, where you could stop hearing me, but I'm, I'm happy to start from wherever. Just let me know. Yeah, we were just talking about this uh, 3G sunset solution and how, how Back Connect really solved that problem for our partners. Yeah, sure. So, you know, the, the, the first use case for, for growth is, you know, is the sunset. And we've been talking a lot about the sunset, a lot about Back Connect. You know, the sunset itself can be an incredible challenge or it can be an opportunity. And what I've seen from a lot of our partners out there is everybody's treating it a little bit differently. Some folks are saying, you know what, I am just going to pay for it. I'm going to write it off as an expense, uh, and I'm going to write, you know, basically give everybody a free upgrade. On the other side, others have said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to charge the customer for the communicator and, and, uh, and see if I can get them that way, and I may have some increased attrition. Uh, the others have said, you know what, I'm going to use this as an opportunity not only to get that customer upgraded for, to, uh, to 4G, 5G, and IP, but also I'm going to modernize their home. And that last piece is what I want to talk mostly about is we have two objectives with our Sunset strategy, to give you the best product that hopefully will be your last product you ever have to put in for Sunset because it's 4G, 5G, and IP as we talked about, uh, but also one that allows for connectivity, one skew in the truck across all the different panels that are out there that work with, with that connect. And then also one that can actually be professionally installed or can be, in some cases, installed by the end user under dealer direction, which helps to reduce those the service call or truck roll costs. 
So we're, we're, our first objective is to make sure you've got the best product at, at a very cost-effective price point, which we feel like we've got, but also to give our, our partners the, the ability to upsell this and really to walk in and say, I'm going to upgrade and modernize your home at the same time that I'm going to be actually moving you from 3G up to the latest uh, communication networks. We've had a number of folks try different things. Most of the packaging has been a back connect coupled with a touchpad, coupled with video, uh, or maybe just pick one of, one of the two and then create promotional offers. Just one anecdote I can throw out is we, we've got a, a great partner who went out and actually uh, put the touchpad together with the back connect, charged uh, just right around $250 and got over a 40% success rate in upselling their customers and getting the customer to pay for that upgrade of the Back Connect. But the nice thing was they also, when simply say for some DIY company calls that company calls that end user, they've got a fully modernized system that they're happy with. They're not vul as vulnerable from a functionality perspective. So our goal is to make sure that we can give you guys the training tools, the marketing tools, the packaging and the fulfillment capabilities to uh, put all these pieces together going forward. Yeah, and Sunset is a huge opportunity, but um, there's also another group out there um, that's vulnerable right now, and that is uh, Interlogix dealers. We all saw the news last year, uh, the sudden shutdown of that venerable security company. Um, and so we're all looking for ways that we can uh, service those customers and make sure that we can keep moving forward smoothly. Um, Brian, I know that we have some terrific solutions out there uh, for pretty much every possible Interlogic scenario. Yeah, we do, Kevin. And, and when you look at it, a lot of our engineering talent actually came over from the, uh, the old Interlogics. Um, we've brought a lot of folks over through the years. Um, and the, in the early days of Interlogics, Interlogics was a highly innovative company and one that really created a lot of the great technology that's, that's in the space today. And we're proud to say that whether it's our head of engineering um, or uh, one of our founders, um, even to uh, Warren, who you, who you talked to earlier, we've brought a lot of great talent over from the uh, company formerly known as Interlogix. And the nice thing is, is that we've really been able to, I think, embody and deliver on what maybe Interlogix was, was intending to be. And that is a highly reliable system, a cost-effective system, but one that brings together all the technology. And, um, and, and net net is we've got a great solution for all kinds of different use cases to make an easy transition over from the Interlogix platform. Whether it's our uh, Connect Plus platform being a panel choice, a two-piece panel choice that allows for uh, you to go in and offer something that uh, is, uh, again, a bit more modern than the old Interlogix platforms. Whether it's Back Connect, which can plug now into uh, Concord, NX, or other types of situations, or whether it's a, a newer product that actually will be, uh, be a, a, a launching here very shortly, the Connect XT, which actually plugs into a Simon panel. All of these allow for Interlogix dealers to deal with the sunset, to deal with takeovers, and or to deal with new installs going forward with a brand new panel. Um, you know, again, one of the nice things we've talked about is that all these allow for access to that same core platform, the same core services, video, the home automation capabilities, as well um, as the uh, intrusion uh, and controls system. All these things kind of come together nicely within one mobile app that, uh, that you, end users can experience. That's right, Brian. And as, as we look at um, the way the world has developed, this, this used to be something that we looked at as a, a kind of a futuristic uh, type solution, this idea of aging in place automation platforms. But increasingly, I think we're seeing the importance of being able to monitor your loved ones remotely, uh, make sure they're okay, make sure they're getting out of bed, make sure they're eating, um, make sure they're taking care of themselves. So, uh, Brian, I'm, I'm really proud to be associated uh, with this initiative. Yeah, this is a, a, a newer phenomenon that we're, we've seen really in the last year. We've uh, brought on just under a dozen or so new partners that, that offer these types of services. And the same core technology stack that you can use to, for security and video and you know, core intrusion, you can also now put in place for an aging-in-place solution. And 
if nothing else, um, you know, again, all this, uh, all, all this going on in the world right now with the coronavirus and, and everything else, we're all hearing more about telemedicine and telehealth and remote monitoring because uh, the system, medical system, the response system isn't scalable. And um, obviously this is a crisis a situation that puts a lot of pressure on it, but so is you know, the, the baby boomers as, as they age, more and more and more pressure is going to be put onto that system. And what, what we can do is allow you as a, a partner of ours to be able to market and deliver on aging in place healthcare type of solutions as an adjacent vertical. And that same platform, again, that you can use for security now, you can add activity monitoring through different types of sensors that we offer or we can offer through great partners that are out there, whether it's maybe watching caregivers for in-home compliance. Are they showing up? Are they leaving? What are they doing? Um, intrusion, so again, providing that core security model for those that may be vulnerable. You know, life safety, both monitored smoke and CO systems, which when you look at the, the top priority for caring or monitoring loved ones, life safety always pops up either number one or number two. And the last is, is that automation, lights, locks, and HVAC. Maybe it's because they can't get out of bed. Maybe it's because uh, they, they, just, they want to have an automated home to be able to make things simpler uh, for them to get around. Uh, this really helps for us to, to make the world safer, but also to help uh, those loved ones age in a better place, uh, that being at home, through some really cool technology our engineers have been able to put together. So we've got a, a complete end-to-end -end capability. We've got partners we can bring in. Uh, we work with PERS companies. But uh, you know, we can, our focus is really to try to put the pieces together and give our dealers, our partners, the opportunity to unlock new growth markets when, the, when this economy comes roaring back, which it will. And earlier in our presentation, we heard from our great partner, uh, Joe, who uh, showed us how the Brevo uh, system works. Um, but it's a good time to do a reminder uh, that we do have these SMB capabilities. Yeah, and so uh, Brevo is an awesome partner, an awesome company. We're thrilled and honored to be their their partner in this space. Um, and you've heard all you've heard a bit about that, so I won't go too deep into that. But we are offering some other capabilities too, as we, you know, put uh, more and more emphasis onto the small business side of things. Whether it's through, you know, our UL Commercial Certified Hub and Connect Plus. Whether it's if you want to upgrade your commercial panels with Bat Connect, which we can plug in and take over. Uh, again, are, are used for the sunset expansion. Or, the, and last but not least, is uh, our fire communicator, which is in development right now. We'll soon be going to our first few customers. It will be launched uh, later on this summer, um, again, for not only for sunset, but for, for new applications as well. We are going you know, all in on the small business market. We want to help our integrators and, and partners to deliver the right solutions to the marketplace uh, that, that rely on that same platform. If you're a combo residential and small business or co commercial dealer, you can use one platform across your marketplace. One training, again, use different functionality components for, for each, but uh, the, the system is modular and very configurable. It allows it to fit into lots of different use cases, whether it's aging in place or small business or residential. We can plug and play into each of these different uh, worlds out there. And speaking of that, uh, the, this last use case um, is uh, suddenly probably more relevant than ever. Uh, this was something that we were see, seeing some kind of forward-thinking uh, partners already uh, moving toward, but I think we're going to see people move more, more fast toward it as um, this situation develops uh, and, and people are looking for solutions that don't maybe require as much personal contact. So um, Brian, tell us how we uh, can help our partners with the DIY solution as well. Yeah, that's a great way to phrase it, Kevin. Is that you know I, I don't think I've ever had so many calls as I have just in the last week on the DIY capabilities of our system. And you know, first and foremost, when we say DIY, we are not going directly to the end user. We, we never have, never will. What we're, we're talking about is providing our partners with a DIY capability. Um, that is our mission. That is our focus. I would say uh, less than 10 percent. Of our partners have actually offered a DIY offering. Uh, another 10% are testing or trying. I do think this will accelerate dramatically with the, the, the new sudden fear of letting somebody into your home to do an install or do a sales pitch or whatever it might be. So what we want to do is provide you 
with uh, turnkey tools and capabilities to be able to, to, to tool up and offer and deliver or to expand upon a dealer DIY solution. What does that mean is that you're going to have a very simplistic solution that the end user can install without you, you actually being there. You can support them over the phone. You can do a service call afterwards. But that end user can install the Illumina system. I did my own in my home in less than 25 minutes. Now, sure, I had to call Corey a few times uh, along the way. And uh, he, he actually uh, uh, took, took my number off of his call in. But uh, the reality is, you know, it's a, it is a system that you can put in yourself. You can actually get into, into the home yourself as an end user. But you don't lose that customer experience. You don't lose that customer focus because you as a partner of ours still own that relationship. It also means that kits can be pre-configured and enrolled before they're actually shipped to the end user. Um, as, you, as you heard from uh, Mr. Pedro, we have uh, great marketing tools. We've got uh, DIY marketing tools and user-focused tools as well as dealer focused marketing tools and help you to tune up and build out these capabilities. And our again our focus is all about helping you to get launched into this type of program if you want to or if you're already there to uh, to to expand it. And, or even at a minimum, even if you don't want to to go full bore and launch a whole DIY program, have an offering. An offering that says, you know what, it's going to be professional but we're 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 going to walk you through it using teleconferencing tools, you know, like we're like we're on like we've been on here all of us remotely. Uh, those types of tools, maybe maybe you change the install approach and help the customer do it with me type of model. So there's lots of ways we can do that. We can do that because we own the system end to end, vertically integrated from uh, again from the sensors to the network to the hub. All these pieces are ours and now become yours. You don't have to call around different places to get those. So. We're proud that this program is there. It's been out for about a year and a half, and it's, we're really seeing some uptick here. And I would strongly encourage uh, our partners to, to to look at this, to embrace this, and start delivering this type of capability in uh, today's uh, uh, kind of scary world out there uh, in terms of the contact. Brian, thank you for taking the time to be with us during this challenging time. I'm sure our partners appreciate hearing your voice. Um, and hearing from you on uh, the way forward for the industry. Yeah, well, thanks, Ken. More importantly, uh, I appreciate them taking some time. I know they're, everybody's dealing with all kinds of new challenges. Uh, we hope and pray for everybody to be safe and uh, to, uh, to venture through this. We're here for you. We're, uh, if you ever have any questions or any, ever need any uh, assistance, uh, we're here for you. Uh, we're going to keep uh, taking it day by day and making sure we can deliver on new solutions for our partners. So thank you so much. And thank you, Brian. And to that end, we're going to now open it up for the live <coughs> Q&A. Feel free to ask any questions, whether it's about Alula products or about the current situation out there. Um, we don't have all the answers, but we'll do our best to help. So looking forward to hearing those questions. Let's dive right into it. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us today um, for this very special edition of Alula's virtual trade show, day two. We're going to start things off by awarding our prize. Uh, I know there's a lot of interest out there for this. This is a $500 whole home security prize. Uh, it includes uh, many of the products that you've seen in this presentation. Um, and uh, we're going to announce it right now to someone who is still online. I'm just checking to see if he's still online. And yes, he is. So here's the winner. It's Trip Davis of Advanced Security Systems. Trip Davis. You are the winner of the $500 whole home security system on day two of Alula's virtual summit. Thank you so much for attending. We will be in touch with you after the presentation to make sure that you get a hold of that product. Um, but first, let's get to your questions. Thank you all for hanging on the line. I know there's a lot of uh, great questions that we have here, so we're just going to spin through them. Um, so let's start. Uh, Corey, are you with me? I am. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Corey. Uh, so Foti, um, uh, one of our, our great partners, uh, has an interesting project. I thought I'd run it by you. Maybe you'd have some suggestions for her. Uh, Foti says, interestingly, I am working on a proposal for a fast food restaurant at the moment for SMB security and access control. I literally just met the client last week. Right now we are looking at basic security system, but I would like to offer them options. 
So, Corey, I don't know if you've had any experience with uh, installation like this. What kind of solutions might you suggest in this arena? Yeah, I, I see uh, a little further down in our questions list, uh, Cody comes back with another comment around the automation that was uh, discussed earlier on in our talk. Uh, and, and that's and that's a great a great piece of it, right? I mean, if if this uh, fast food restaurant is doing anything after hours with um, services that come in to uh, manage, help manage, maybe bathroom cleaning, maybe uh, janitorial, that type sort of thing, or any deliveries that are coming in after hours, tying the access control with an automated system that can can manage the security really does allow allow for those services to be delivered without quite as much um, interaction from from the uh, franchisee or the or the owner of the facility. So it's a, it's a slick way to you know op open a door, use the access control system to open a door, and and still have security uh, protecting the premise in a, in a monitored fashion. So that's that's an excellent way. The other the other half of that equation we did talk about as well. Um, as the integration blooms with Brevo even further, they'll be able to manage all of that configuration directly in in the Brevo access control on air system. Excellent. So while we're on the topic of Brevo, Shane, um, if you're available, I'd just like to ask you a little bit about the mechanics of this program um, in terms of how dealers can get access to this um, and how they can become Brevo dealers as well. Yeah, so um, as you saw in uh, Joe's little demonstration, you can connect the panels on the, on the Brevo app, um, but you are going to need to um, contact one of our reps and inform them that, um, or no, there is a checkbox on the profile for the panel. So that will need to be checked before these panels can be linked. Um, just a, a quick note there. And then you buy these products the same way that you would have always bought them, um, Alula through distribution and, and Brevo directly. Shane, just a quick follow-up. It just came in from John Fagel in the comments. Uh, can the access control be installed as a standalone system? If so, what Alula equipment will be needed? Uh, yeah, any any Brevo access control stuff can be installed the way that it always is, and there's no um, Alula equipment needed there if you're not doing if you're not doing security. And yeah, basically, thanks for that clarification. Kevin, you mind if I add a little bit to, to, to Please, the question there? Uh, yeah, the, the integration in, in, is, uh, you know, by Brevo's product and services through the arrangement with Brevo, by Alula's services and products through the arrangement with Alula, the integration that we've worked on together really makes the two systems work uh, even better together. So there aren't any changes to the selling or qualifying practices of Alula or Brevo in terms of the dealers selling those solutions. Excellent. Thanks for that clarification. That question came to us from Darrell. Darrell, thank you. Um, quick question on Brevo, uh, Corey. Uh, access, uh, is that available to our Canadian uh, installers? Uh, absolutely it is. Uh, Brevo is available in Canada as well. All right. Um, let's see. Who else do we have on? Uh, Warren, let me uh, run this one by you. We've got some questions about uh, the partner program. Uh, Carlos is asking, he's, he says he's just ordered a demo kit from my distributor. Where do I sign up for the Alula Pro program? How does someone get access to all this wonderful material? Yeah, so we, we actually have a sign up for Alula Pros today. You can go on to the website and sign up for that. The program that I spent my time talking about, that's a program that's going to go live here, as I mentioned, at the beginning of June. Um, we'll have more information that, that becomes available on the different uh, benefits that are going to be available, the levels, et cetera, how to qualify for those levels now that we're rolling out this program. And, uh, and so more information to come on that. But live registration for the program that I was covering uh, at the beginning of June. Thanks, Warren. And for any of you who haven't yet, um, you can sign up to become an Alula Pro at alula.com backslash pro dash sign up, all one word, backslash. Um, and that'll get you immediate access to that um, first tier of benefits. And then, of course, uh, as Warren mentioned, the more that you're able to um, scale your business, the more uh, we're able to help with that. Uh, next question comes from Matthew. 
Um, let's see. I'll ask this one to Corey. Uh, with the Back Connect, are you able to use only one of the three communications forms? I know with the DSC ILP cell communicator, IP cell communicator, you have uh, you have to have cellular signal to register, even though it is only a backup form of communication. Um, are we able to just use a single IP path there, Corey? Well, one of the things about the Bat Connect that make it so powerful is that it's, it's shipping from our factory with triple path enabled. So you install it, and you have the ability to connect Ethernet, uh, Wi-Fi, or uh, or cellular. They're all on board on the product. Um, so today, there isn't a way to to turn off those interfaces uh, at all. We are considering in some environments we're able to manage that cell card differently. So look for a, a roadmap item in the future where we, we may have the option to have the cell card be a, uh, be a backup uh, step for, the, for those solutions. And just yeah, to add on to that, that uh, it, it sounded like he was asking if you're able to use all, multiple paths at the same time. Um, yeah, you can set up any of those paths, and if one goes down, it'll switch to another. So just to clarify. Perfect. Always good to know. Uh, Thomas, uh, Paul Romanelli's got a question. Paul, uh, good to see you here in the chat. I, I see you on the Facebook page as well, uh, one of our great partners. Um, uh, Paul is uh, saying that it'd be, uh, there's a great need for a good user-focused manual for Connect Plus. Thomas, um, he's, lo he's looking for some user collateral on the Connect Plus. I think a lot of people are starting to think about um, moving up the, the self-installs. Uh, perhaps uh, their clients uh, may not have as much interest in meeting them face-to-face -face, uh, for obvious reasons. So, Thomas, what are we doing to help enable that? Yeah, Kevin, uh, that's a good question, Paul. Thanks for that. Uh, what I would say uh, specifically in this, in fact, we just had a, a meeting earlier today on this whole zone, and so this need is something to your point, Kevin, that we are well aware of and actually working on. So uh, I would expect uh, to see something in the Resource Center uh, in the coming weeks on that. Okay. Um, let's see. Ed, you know, since I got you, Thomas, uh, Chris Denyer, he says he missed the first part of the uh, presentation, and he's asking if the uh, partner.alula.net, uh, if that site, is live yet? Why don't you talk us through how people can get access to it, uh, yep. where to go, and, and what they need to do? Sure. Yeah. So partner.alula.com is the URL. www. You don't need to do that. You just need partner.alula.com. That will take you there. The big thing to note there, and we we did touch on this at the end of the section, but you do need to request access through your salesperson first. Um, and once they have you set up, you should be able to log in um, to with your Alula Connect username and password, and, and that should get you into the site. Uh, so at, at first, reach out to your, your salesperson if you're an existing customer. Uh, if not, uh, new customers need to fill out the pro sign up paid uh, pro sign up form, as, as you mentioned there, Kevin. Uh, that'll get the process started, at, and, and, and we'll get you set up there. Uh, and then partner.alula.com is the URL. Uh, and you'll use your Alula Connect username and password to, to log in. And then any, any further uh, questions there, uh, feel free to email partner at alula.com, and uh, we'll make sure that you have everything you need. Thanks, Thomas. And Kimberly's also men uh, Kimberly mentions custom video sounds like a great way to keep up with your branding. Kimberly, we couldn't agree more. Um, Thomas, uh, what are we doing to help our partners with some video branding? Yeah, we, we touched on this briefly during uh, our session, but we actually, uh, you and I, Kevin, were out uh, out west uh, shooting video a, a few weeks back, and um, that, that content will make it into the Resource Center here soon, uh, at which point we will um, certainly have the uh, ability likely to do work with you uh, if you would like things custom branded, but we, we, that's something that we can do. I know, Kevin, that's kind of right in your wheelhouse. Absolutely. Love working with video, and I can't wait to show you guys all the wonderful stuff that we shot out there in Washington um, before uh, the shutdown commenced. So we've, we've got a, a ton of great material that we were lucky enough to gather um, when we were able to, and now we're just uh, editing it, getting it shined up and ready for you guys. So you'll have that material uh, within just the next couple of weeks there at partner.alula.com. Uh, Corey, question uh, from Pat Lane. 
Do we have any plans to redesign the doorbell camera? I do have a few things I can share around the video solution overall. I'll expand that, that question a tiny bit just to, just to uh, take some coverage there. Uh, there are some near-term tweaks that are coming with the existing doorbell. Uh, things uh, that are included is a, a new hardware option, a uh, new hardware product that will be in every box is a, a revised power kit. And that's to help with the uh, installation of those indoor chimes uh, in some of the houses that we've taken the feedback, we've brought it back with our supplier and worked on that power kit to improve the success rate of those internal chimes. On the app, we're doing a lot of simplification of the provisioning process to make sure that we can get those cameras as easily as possible on Wi-Fi. So we'll be taking out some of the verbiage that happens um, in, in those first dialogues and moving, uh, moving the more complicated install setups to, to a different flow. So we'll be simplifying the happy path there. And then lastly, we've got a new firmware that we're working with our supplier on uh, that will greatly improve our clip collection, both the rate and the success rate of getting those clips. Uh, we've heard you loud and clear that we want to have those clips as, as promptly as possible. And there's lots of investment as well in our platform to make, to make it more, um, more robust and, and, and really available for the scaling that we're doing right now. Uh, on, in terms of um, redesign of the other video solutions, we're always evaluating new video products. Um, and I, I really do want you to stay tuned for uh, an option around the uh, around the uh, battery doorbell. That's something that we've got on the roadmap and we, and we see as a future item. So look for some marketing publications on that. Uh, we're also working on our SMB video line. So it'll be a, a little bit higher end uh, video solutions that will ser serve that SMB market. Excellent. Thomas, uh, uh, before I leave you, I just wanted to ask you a question real quick from Carl Van Wy. Um, are central stations able to get access to the Alula Partner website? I could see using the marketing material to help get the word out about Alula. That's from Carl at Security Partners. 100%, Kevin. So uh, our, obviously our dealer partners uh, have access, but both distributors and central stations as well. Again, uh, start with your, your sales per, uh, salesperson there, uh, your primary person that you work with from Alula. Um, otherwise, email, uh, as I mentioned before, partner at alula.com, and we'll make sure that uh, you, you have what you need because absolutely it's, it's there for, for that exact reason to help you hopefully effectively talk about the Alula product set. Thanks, Thomas. And now for a question that's on a lot of people's minds. In this case, it comes to us from Pat Lane. Pat Lane asking, how is the production and shipping capacity considering the current environment? Great question, Pat. We know a lot of people are thinking about this, and we're glad you're giving us an opportunity to address that. Brian, if you wouldn't mind, could you uh, talk to Pat and the rest of us a little bit about uh, where we're at with Corona? Sure thing, Kevin. Can you hear me okay? Yep, I got you online. Great. So um, the reality is, is that we are uh, keeping up and uh, we are able to get product out the door and uh, we're able to do so because the majority of our manufacturing is done in St. Paul or in Juarez, Mexico. Um, the, the reality of though, uh, that, behind that though, is that a lot of the parts and pieces continue to come from Asia. So we are doing our best each and every day to try to make sure that we can minimize the impacts of any type of shortages coming over from Asia. And the problem with Asia right now is that even if you get the parts, getting them onto a plane um, is, is very difficult because of the need for, for planes and, and uh, freight via air travel for other reasons. So right now we're keeping up. We've had a couple of shortages that we've been able to address very quickly. Um, and uh, we are doing a number of things to make sure we stay out in front of this going forward. We've got an amazing engineering team so we're engineering around any type of part shortages that may exist, and we're running dual supply chains. We, uh, we, and, and basically what that means is that we've got two different sources for you know, all of our different parts and pieces, and we're, going, we're basically running these simultaneously to, to make sure that we can, can deliver the products on time, but also make sure that we don't uh, drive up costs through all this process. Um, there's a tremendous amount of cost being added to the supply chain, whether it's freight, whether it's uh, spot market parts or others, and we're doing whatever we possibly can to make sure we keep our costs low for our partners and that we're able to hit times, uh, our lead times. I, I will tell you, we will have some parts and pieces that have short-term delays. That's just the impact of the global supply chain. But I will tell you that we're, we're doing our best to, to keep up and to address those as quickly as, as we can. So be patient uh, with us on a few parts and pieces. 
uh, I guarantee you we'll do whatever we can to get them back up and running uh, if they do pop up short here. And Brian, while I've, while I've got you, um, as, as much of a burden as this is placed on um, our partners, there's also some opportunity here um, in some new markets. And Fody is asking, uh, she mentions, response to your slide says, aging in place is my targeted market. Um, I think aging in place is really opening up due to um, coronavirus. I think we're seeing a lot of benefits that are uh, potentially there, uh, as well as dealer-assisted DIY. So maybe you could talk about how we're working with partners to help them adjust their business to this new reality. Yeah, it's, it's a great question. So aging in place, we can provide a product and capability that can plug into an aging in place environment. We do it for our good good partners at, uh, at Great Call, which is now part of Best Buy. We do it for uh, about a dozen or so other dealers that uh, have diversified into the aging in place space for activity monitoring and for other types of uh, home automation and security uh, offerings for the aging in place market. So we'd love to talk to you more about your specific needs and try to fit our platform into, into their solution there. But I can tell you it works very well. Um, in terms of DIY, I, I, there's a ton of interest right now, as I mentioned earlier, in the DIY space. And whether it's launching a dealer DIY program, which I'd say about 10 to 20% of our dealers have done, or whether it's just having a self-install option that you can add to your pro-install option during these uh, difficult times where people don't want to have you come in their house. Um, our platform can be self-installed. Our, our platform can be packaged in a way where you can pre-configure the kits, or we can even help you pre-configure the kits. So when you ship them out and a the customer gets it, as we say around here, the angels sing. And basically it means it's very simple. And it's they're able to take it out of the box and put it into their environment in a manner where, uh, again, that they can do the installs. You can support them over the phone, and then you can monitor and provide service ongoing. So it's, uh, it's, our product is simple, simple by design. It was built in a manner to be self-installed or, or pro-installed, and that makes it perfect for the segment of the market that's uh, taken on new life here which, uh, with DIY. And I guess the last piece of that, and maybe Pedro can talk to this, we do have a number of different marketing materials that are focused on um, the, the end user and helping you to you know, shape that end user through the process of using the system overall. So we've got marketing, install, setup, all of these can really help on a self-install option all the way that back to the core of the product being very simple. Absolutely, Brian. Thank you. Um, definitely a time to uh, reevaluate a lot of things in life, including um, business opportunities and, and how you can um, continue to find the growth that you need um, to move forward. Uh, Going to read a quick testimonial here. This comes to us from Matthew Ballantyne. Uh, Matthew writes, one thing my customers have loved about the Back Connect is that it, it is 5G ready. Businesses have loved that. We do a lot of takeovers and also a lot of high-end homes that we use DSC 1832 panels um, that we connect uh, 24 app. This Back Connect is an answer for all the things we do. I just started in sales three weeks ago. I was a technician for three years, so I love seeing things like this. I believe this makes my job as a salesperson so easy to have one device for just about everything. Matthew, I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much for taking the time to write that out. That is exactly the user experience we're looking for and why we designed the Back Connect the way we did. So um, happy to hear. Uh, question comes to us from Kevin. Uh, Corey, I think you could probably help out with this, if not Shane. Uh, Kevin asks, probably already asked, but can I use the BAT to take over a Vivint system to connect to central monitoring? Sure. Uh, and I think there's also another question there on the, on the zero wire uh, device as well. Um, basically, either of those systems could work with a tip ring connection and, and delivering contact ID support. The Vivint solution is a little bit clunky in that regard since they're normally installed in a place that that's not a convenient uh, way of installing the BAT Connect. Uh, on, on Bat Connect, you can also, uh, you know, they typically have used Honeywell sensors, so, you know, they can use a translator card in our Connect Plus and bring bring that uh, install onto onto the Alula platform. So it's a really great way of doing that. Uh, and, and the same with the Zero Wire, they can use a translator card and install the Connect Plus and, and have an Alula, Alula platform system that in that regard. Okay, Corey, and since you have a good eye on the product roadmap, uh, Chris Genier is asking if we have a fall detector device coming, similar to what the Apple Watch is able to do. 
We don't have anything like that in the works, but we have talked a lot. As, as, as uh, Brian has already said, we're, we're looking at supporting that uh, aging in place market even more fully. So uh, it's a great uh, product suggestion. We do have a, a pendant fob for, uh, for pressing, uh, pressing and alerting the system that way. All right. Um, Warren, let me ask you a question from Justin about the partner program. Is there an activation or any charge to join the partner program? Uh, no charge to join the program. It's open to every Alula dealer out there. Uh, the, the only difference will be the levels, and that's dependent on the number of activations, uh, communicators, connect pluses that you're doing with us throughout the year. So it's open to everybody. Excellent. Corey, let me come back to you real quick with a question from John Fagel. Is our audience... Sorry about that. I'm... Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. All righty. Thank you, uh, Alexa, chiming in. Uh, I'm having trouble connecting to the... Okay. So what woke her up is the question of, uh, is our automation program compatible with Alexa and Google? And now you Corey, need to mute right away this? again. <laughs> and now you need to re mute right away again so she doesn't chime back in. Uh, we, we have done integrations... Unplug her. <laughs> <laughs> we have done integrations for uh, our security offering for both Google and Alexa. So there, there are options available. And we're also investigating the smart home functions of those, of those platforms for future integration. Thank you, Corey. Um, I appreciate the help at hand. Um, let's see. Uh, Carlos is asking, um, he needs more information on how to take advantage of the aging in place market. My area is prime for this market. Brian, maybe you could help us out. Where would be a good place for a dealer to look to, to start expanding into that kind of a market? You there, Brian? Yeah, I'm sorry, Kevin. You cut out just a little bit. What, uh, expanding which market? Sorry, uh, Carlos is asking, uh, he'd like more information on how to take advantage of the aging in place market. He says his area is prime for that market. So how, how would you yeah, actually yeah. Start, start up a business? Yeah, so I mean, the reality is, is I think you can do it with the core business and um, you know start to build up the product capabilities. What I'd suggest we do is set up a conference call uh, with our sales engineering team, um, and we can pull together the right folks and talk about what a few others have done to uh, tackle that market uh, back from the offering to the marketing uh, and others. So I, you know, what I'd love to do is uh, is get, get the name, and we'll establish a, a call with our sales engineering team uh, shortly after this call and uh, talk about what we know, what we've learned, and we can connect you with a few of other, our other uh, partners and dealers that are in that space. Excellent. Yeah, please follow up with us. Uh, another question comes just from Matthew. Uh, Corey, uh, is there a way to get a demo account to use the app and play around with it and also just be able to show our clients the interface? Absolutely. Uh, you can contact our inside team or uh, any of our sales associates, and we can get you that information after this call. Yeah, and if you're just looking for, you know, an ability to demo the app, uh, there's actually that functionality built right into it. If you look right under the login, um, there should be a link that's going to allow you to kind of test drive a, a dummy system and show you its capabilities. That's right, Corey? Yes, correct. The, the, demo, the demo mode is right there available on the login screen of our mobile on the old device app. Excellent. And a quick question around uh, Lula Connect and business analytics. Uh, will there be a business analytics dashboard metrics coming soon? That's an active area of development where we're, we're working with the team right now, looking at what data we can cultivate from the, from the database tables that we have today, and then where you want to take that in the roadmap. So please do stay tuned for additional information showing up on that dealer dashboard. Okay, Thomas, a couple people are asking. Fody uh, says, in this current situation, I would love to offer the dealer DIY option. And then Pat Lane says, what DIY marketing materials do you have? So, Thomas, I think a lot of people are thinking along the same lines. What, what can we do to help people quickly spin up a uh, uh, customer install uh, program or a dealer DIY, what have you? 
Yeah, and Brian touched on this a little bit during his section, but I think what we're starting to see a, a number of people do is, is look at ways that um, rather than exactly maybe DIY, they can uh, kind of take the interim step of self-install and pre-provision the, the panels and, and that sort of thing uh, prior to sending it out to the customer. So that's certainly something um, we can, can help you, uh, give you thoughts on and, and probably start with with your salesperson in that regard. Uh, as far as DIY marketing, uh, what I would say is, you know, uh, a, a small percentage of our base, uh, you know, 10 to 20 percent are, are really in the in the DIY uh, zone. Uh, so uh, uh, most of our materials are designed, um, you know, for you, the the dealer, to be involved in that equation. But but because we know that it's a common use case, um, we did design them knowing that they were going to be used for that. So what I would say there is um, they, are, they should be able to work for both. Uh, you'll notice a lot of very similar language to what you would see in the DIY space, peace of mind, you know, th things of that nature. Um, so, so hopefully uh, there's enough to, to get you off the, off the ground there. Um, and, but then obviously we want to keep you uh, as part of that as a, as a professional. Uh, security dealer, so so you'll see language around, you know, um, protected by your professional, monitored by your professional, things of that nature to to kind of differentiate there. So um, if there's additional uh, thoughts, questions, needs there, um, happy to to have uh, one to one conversations on it. But but again, the the goal of the of what's out there is that it should be be able to get some um, multi use. Okay, uh, Brian, real quick, I wanted to clear something up from earlier in the presentation, make sure we didn't leave anybody with the wrong uh, impression. Uh, Robbie Verrett asks, how does Best Buy work as a dealer? Um, are they installing or only DIY? Uh, so there was an earlier slide that, that did uh, mention Best Buy as a partner, but uh, Brian, could you clarify a little more about our partnership uh, with Best Buy? Yeah, our, so that's a great question. Our, our um our relationship with Best Buy is strictly through Great Call on the aging in place side. We, we don't offer any retail. We certainly don't go direct, um, and uh, it, it's really focused on their aging in place through the Great Call solution, really on the activity monitoring side of things. So that's uh, that's the limit and an extent of our relationship with uh, with Best Buy. Thanks for clearing that up, Ryan. Yeah, just to be clear, we we're not selling uh, DIY systems on Best Buy's shelf or anything along those lines. Uh, that's obviously not our business model. We're 100% dealer focused and we only sell through the professional channel. Uh, that's why our tagline is professional smart security. Um, we're rolling up here to the end. Um, and from Matthew, uh, Shane, maybe you can help out with this one. Matthew asks, is there a list of compatible devices such as locks and lights on the website or is there any info that I can get through email? Uh, Shane, how's, what's the best way to figure out what's compatible? Um, so pretty much anything that is Z-Wave is going to be compatible. Uh, Z-Wave is just a, a communication format, and so that's anything that is Z-Wave should be uh, should be compatible. All right, and Shane, uh, Paul asks, can the Alula product uh, does, does the Alula product have to be connected to a monitoring company, or can it be self-monitored? Um, I suppose it can be self-monitored, um, but we uh, we really see the value in in having that professional monitoring. So, in some of our uh, yeah, solutions, I, correct me. If, sorry, Kevin. <laughs> in, in some of our installs, okay, correct me if I'm uh, wrong. Would we would, for self-monitoring? I don't. Would the customer still even have access to the interactive services portion of it? Basically, no, they would not. If they if they weren't connected to our uh, interactive services, they would not have uh, interactive services through the mobile app. We do see some activity in the builder market around a self-monitored solution for a period of time, but we are always looking to bring that online and, and have a monitored solution. Excellent. Quinn, last question here from John. Uh, is there any monitoring discounts for level of units uh, online through the PRO program?
Kevin, did you did you address that one to uh, to Corey? <laughs> I think that one's probably oh, that's Corey, program. but you can take it too. Yeah. So so one of the things that you may have seen on the slide is that there will be discounts at the silver, gold, platinum, diamond level for customers. It's it's not based on the number of of units over time that you have online. It's based on your level is based on the number of units you're doing each month, each year. And, and so there will be price breaks on those. Uh, I don't know if that directly answers John's question or not. If, if not, he can reach out to, to me or reach out to us later. Great. Thank you, Warren. And before we conclude, um, I just want to bring it over to Brad. Brad, are you with me? Kevin, I'm here. Thanks. Hey, Brad, could you talk a little bit about uh, some of the materials that we've been working on this week um, about uh, how to – Spin up quick remote installs. Yeah, Kevin, uh, great question. I, I know there's a lot of questions that we haven't been able to get here to on uh, that remote install, pro install. Uh, I, I do want to mention that we are uh, creating, as Kevin mentioned, a number of new materials uh, end user facing, but also materials that are going to kind of help you think about how you present yourself in market and some of the things that you can do to make this. Um, a lot easier from a remote install standpoint. So uh, be on the lookout. We've got some new things coming out next week and in the, in the, in the coming weeks to kind of help you get yourself ready for this. Uh, obviously, the, the, the offering that it, as it stands today can solve this need very easily. And we're getting a lot of comments, as Brian had indicated earlier, a lot of comments back from the field that people are, are uh, uh, producing these solutions right now based off of what we have in the space, including some really interesting e-commerce options. Uh, I think that's one of the things that I like so much about our solution is it can be uh, used in a number of different use cases. And it's, of course, very um, uh, customizable based off the audiences that you're going to reach to, whether you want a simple install kit or, or something more robust that has uh, you know, includes the, the, uh, the, the luxuries of, of the big touchpad and uh, some of the features that that offers. We've got those types of solutions for everyone, and we'll have more materials coming in the next couple of weeks, including some webinars on how to present yourself uh, in this new sort of age, in this new instance where um, we want some more remote uh, selling, some distance selling, and we've got that ability coming very soon. So thanks. Stay tuned. And I'll just say, now, if there's anybody that's got some immediate interest, I would love to hear from you. Please just uh, send me a simple email, learn at alula.net, uh, and we'll make sure to get reconnected with you specifically uh, with those materials and that conversation. Again, that's learn at alula.net. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, Brad, and thank you all for attending this special virtual trade show day two from Alula. Um, as, as uh, Brad mentioned, we will be looking um, at doing a future webinar on how to uh, quickly handle some dealer DIY um, and how you can communicate with your customers in this time of Corona. Uh, so please take a look, keep a lookout for that. Should be within a week or two. Um, in the meantime, keep growing your business, keep looking at new markets, and stay safe. Thank you all.